scientists and innovators who want to develop their prototypes into commercial businesses will have the opportunity to do so by mid-2022 after the completion of the Technology Innovation and Business Incubation Center in Namanve in Mukono District. The Uganda National Council for Science and Technology is implementing a national science, technology, engineering, and innovation skills enhancement project. The incubation center is one of the three components of the project. We have realized that we are supporting a number of scientists. But scientists are not business people. They are not business minded. They are passionate about their work. Now, we want to take it a notch higher to teach scientists how to to create enterprises, to create businesses from their ideas. Project coordinator Anthony Okimat says the center, which sits on five acres, works hand in hand with the other two components of the project, the National Science, Technology and Engineering Innovation Center at Rebitete in Chiruhura District and the Technical Service Company to provide the services strategic to the country's development agenda. Government is supporting scientists and innovators, but you still have to look for space. They have to go to rented spaces. Now, why don't we provide such facilities where they can work, come and work, try out their ideas, come develop their prototypes? The services to be provided at the incubation center include finished leather processing technology, textile design technology, state-of-the-art testing units, training centers for multiple disciplines and specialized research and development facilities. With Uganda venturing into car manufacturing, the incubation center will provide support to technology-based businesses that support the automobile industry. We are not only looking at teaching them how to manufacture these components, but they should take this up as businesses, viable technology businesses that can create more employment. Work on the incubation center began in February this year and is expected to end in May 2022. The $84.7 million project is being funded by the government of Uganda and the Exim Bank of China. It is expected to have 200 students at any given time and will outsource expertise to skill the students. We are already in partnership with the, the uh, with the National Enterprise Corporation. We have entered into another MOU with DIT, uh, Department of, in, uh, of, of Industrial, Industrial Training. And we are entering into other partnerships with the Private Sector Foundation. Completion of the incubation center will increase competitiveness of Uganda's micro, small and medium enterprises through import substitution and enhancing revenue generation. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.